Hey guys, so I'm officially 20 weeks today. Super, super exciting. Again, like every week, it's very, very exciting. Um, if this was a normal pregnancy with just one baby, I would officially be at my halfway point. And um, my OB has me, you know, going until 40 weeks. So officially I'm halfway there. And that's just, I just can't believe it. Um, with everything, you know, going, that you go through when you go through IVF, it's such a long process. And at the time it feels like it takes so long from the start to waiting until you find out that you're pregnant. Um, but in the big scheme of things, it happened so fast now that we're at this point. Um, you know, we did our IVF, we started it back in July. So it's just kind of crazy that, you know, here we are almost mid-December um, and we're halfway through this pregnancy and it's just getting so, you know, getting more and more real every day. Um, I can't wait to meet these little babies. It's so, so exciting just to be at this point. And yeah, so being 20 weeks, um, both of my apps were actually the same this week with the size of the babies. Um, they both said that they are the size of mangoes this week. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how big they actually are measuring. I have an appointment, actually I actually have two appointments next week. I have one with the perinatal doctor on Monday and one with my OB on Tuesday. So um, the perinatal doctor, that's going to be my anatomy scan, even though every time I see that doctor, it's an anatomy scan and we do like the full checkup. She measures everything from the size of their head to like their arm lengths and legs and belly size. I mean, she measures around their waist. Um, so she gets a good view of everything. And, but that would be like our official anatomy scan for most, um, you know, singleton pregnancies. So hopefully last time she told us the babies were weighing nine ounces each. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they're weighing this time because it'll be, I think, three, no, nah, about a month. Um, we go every three to four weeks in between doctors, but because of the holidays, they heard one day apart. So um, that's kind of, you know, the biggest news. There's not a whole lot going on. Haven't had any appointments this week. Nothing too crazy to report. I have felt um, better. I haven't had any migraine episodes um, this last week. I have... <laughs> Yesterday, I started to get a little bit of a headache. Not too bad, but I was just feeling a little off. I told Chris in the morning, I'm like, I don't feel bad, but I don't feel good. I just kind of feel off. And so as soon as I was done working, I went and laid down. I woke up three hours later. <laughs> so apparently my body just needed some rest, some sleep. Um, I think that's partially due to the fact that I'm not sleeping very well at night. That has been a new thing the last couple of weeks um, with my belly growing. Obviously, I can't be laying on my stomach, and um, from everything that I've read, you're not supposed to sleep on your back. I guess it does something with um, the blood flow, but you can't always control how you sleep. So there are often times I wake up at night and I'm on my back, so then I have to roll back over to one side or the other. And um, I do sleep with a pillow like between my knees, and then I have another pillow that I kind of like lean up against my body so my belly's not like hanging off to the side because it's really really uncomfortable and um I feel like it's a little early to be this uncomfortable when I'm sleeping but I have to remind myself that there's two babies in there um I'm you know I'm bigger than I would be if there was one so that's probably what's going on um I feel a lot of like stretching when I go to move and a lot of pulling um, so that's why it's so uncomfortable and obviously I get up probably three times to go to the bathroom at night. <laughs> so um, yeah, I haven't been sleeping as much which is probably why I slept for three hours last or yesterday afternoon. Um, but really that's, you know, that's kind of it. And again, like last week when it's boring and I don't have a lot to report, um, it's kind of good news. Like the less that we have going on, the better. Um, so the, you know, the really exciting stuff is that we are going home uh, for the holidays. We're heading back up to the Northwest and um, we're leaving here in a little less than two weeks. And I'm just so excited because not only have we not seen my family um, and Chris's family for, you know, several, several months, but um, you know, it's the holidays and everything else, but we're doing our 
Um, we have two baby showers while we're there. We're also doing some maternity pictures while we're there. So it's gonna be like a really, really fun time to spend with our family, not just for the holidays, but celebrating being pregnant and getting to see my family since they're not here. Um, you know, we're in Texas, so um, we kind of have to do things, figure out things here on our own with our families being so far away. So it's just gonna be so nice to kind of get away for a little while and spend that family quality time and to have them be involved with the pregnancy because these little videos that I post are really how they get updated on everything. So that's kind of what we have going on. Um, I wish I had more to report, but I don't. So that's it. Um, I will show you my belly because again, it just gets bigger every week, but I'm 20 weeks. So there's my 20 week belly. Anyways, um, I will have more to update next week since I have two appointments and um, yeah, I look forward to talking to you guys all then. Bye!